Well, let us look at this previous problem from uh, kinematics. So, it is a simple problem wherein there is a ball which is dropped vertically from a height d. So, let me just draw this. This is your ground from a height d. So, there is a ball which is just dropped. So, for the ball u is equal to 0, right? In the initial velocity u is equal to 0, it is just dropped. So, it hits the ground, it hits the ground, so it comes down, it hits the ground and then after hitting, so it will bounce from in the same direction but I am just drawing it so that you understand visualize better, it will go up only to a height d by 2, so it bounces only to a height d by 2. You need to neglect the air resistance, forget that there is air resistance in the formula uh, in the problem. You need to find the velocity v as a function of height from which from you have to choose between any of these four. So, what you have to understand here is a lot of times you do not have to actually understand what the equation is properly, right. The more you understand the better it is, but sometimes all that you need to do is you just need to find, you just need to understand these graphs, right and understand the motion and just choose the, just choose the appropriate graphs without actually writing the entire function for each of this. So, what, what will happen? Let us see. So, ultimately what we have to use is the third equation of motion v square minus u square is equals to 2 g h. But this is not incorporating sign and stuff, right? So, what happens is one thing that is clear about this is that v square is equals to 2 g h because your u is equal to 0, it is of this form, right? So, it is a parabola, the graph between velocity and height is a parabola because it is of this form, ax y is equals to where your uh, sorry, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, this is your y axis right, so it is y square equal to 4 ax form, so it is it's like a parabola right, it cannot be a straight line. So, this option is out of question, it cannot be c right, it can be any, any of these. Now, we need to see the direction, so what is happening here is. The velocity is increasing when it when it comes down, when it comes down due to gravity, velocity keeps on increasing, right? But it increases in the negative direction. Why? Because I am taking the downward direction as negative and upward as positive. So, when it is at d, the velocity is 0. When it comes from d to 0, the velocity is increasing in magnitude, but in the negative direction. So, ultimately, I will say velocity is negatively increasing, right? So, let us see, when it is as, uh, when it is at d, it is coming and uh, so when, it, when your h is d, your velocity is 0 and when your h is 0, your velocity is maximum and it is negative, so it is increasing in the negative direction. So, this option can be the answer, right. Can this option be the answer? No, because at d, it is not even following a path, right. It, it shows that the body is traveling, the body is traveling from h, so this is your uh, h basically, right. So, this is v versus h, all of them just like this. So, the body is traveling from h equal to 0 to h equal to d. So, right, that is not even there in the question. From h equal to 0 to h equal to d by 2, the body travels. It travels from d to 0 and then it travels from 0 to d by 2. It travels from d to 0, then from d by, uh, from 0 to d by 2. Here, it is traveling from 0 to d. So, it's, it, this even this can't be the answer. If you look at this graph, this can be the answer because this and this are the same for both. Now, we need to see after we after bouncing back, after bouncing back at, at h equal to 0, the velocity becomes half, right, half of the actual one. That is the reason why it is able to go only to the half of, uh, uh, what do you say, in fact not half, 1 by root 2 times of, of what it was before it struck, right. So, what happens here is from d by 2, from 0 to d by 2, the velocity is increasing, increasing, but in the positive direction because the upward direction is positive. So, this is the only graph which satisfies because if you look at this graph here, the velocity still, uh, it says that the velo uh, velocity is increasing in the negative direction, right. And in fact, it is it's maximum here and it, and it becomes 0, right. But And, and it is still negative, that is what this graph says, but it, it is actually increasing in the, it is decreasing, but it is still in the positive direction. So, only this graph satisfies, so this is the answer.